Peace, peace, peace. This is your international sales and marketing hitman, villain, sniper, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You're rocking with the best. You heard? So I'm going to make this quick video for my millennials out there. You know, word the Nipsey on this one, you know, because he definitely wanted to show love to the younger cats that are coming up to soften the blow of the struggle. So this is on the strength of my man Nipsey on this one. So <clears throat> I know that a lot of the millennials out there, they're working uh, at places like Walmart, Sam's Club, Target. Um, they're working at various places like uh, McDonald's, you know, so I want to make a video for them. And even if you're an adult, even if you're a Gen Xer, you know, this can help you out also. Okay. So once again, this video is on the strength of my man, Nipsey. Uh, this is for the millennials and everybody that worked for companies like Walmart, Sam's Club, Target, McDonald's. I'm going to show you how to shake the damn coins out of the piggy bank from working with these companies because there's a lot of missed opportunity when you're in these situations, but opportunity is all around us. There's nothing scarce out here. Money flows in abundance. Money is current. It is currency. It flows. It flows. All money is somebody else's money. All money is somebody else's money. So once it exchange, it touches your hand, it exchanges into somebody else's hand. It goes in your bank account. It goes into somebody else's bank account. It goes into somebody else's loan. It moves. Money moves. And I'm going to show you how to move some of that money right now on some, uh, you know, on some Tiger Toledo smooth pimping shit. Okay. So I had a conversation with a young gentleman in Sam's Club, right? Um, I'm in the business section checking out, you know, folders, legal folders and stuff like that. And he was like, hey, you know, what do you do? So he automatically assumed that I'm an entrepreneur because I'm in there like midday. You know what I mean? I'm not at work or something like that. And I'm dressed up with, you know, sweatpants on. They're like, what do you do? I said, I work for myself. He's like, man, you know, like what, what line of work are you in? What, what is it? So I told him, you know, I have a notary business and I have an online sales and marketing school. He wanted to do that, but I, I, before I g began to tell him about what I do, I said, look, you are in the prime opportunity to make a shitload of money here, too. He was like, what, Sam's Club, man? Please, I ain't making shit here. He said, I'm trying to get out of this joint. I said, because you're using the wrong eye, young blood. You're using the wrong eye. Let me put you up on game. You know what I mean? So I said, look. Being in Sam's Club is a huge opportunity, and I'll tell you why. For you to be in Sam's Club, that means you are moving units, okay? You have to sell in bulk in Sam's Club. Not that you're selling individual stock like in a Walmart or a Target or grocery stores. You have surpassed that to the point where you are actually selling in bulk. Anything that enters Sam's Club or Costco, they're selling in bulk, that means there is a market for what they're selling and they are able to sell units. So I said, this is what you do, young blood. You look around the store. When you're walking the straw, the store, sweeping, pushing the car, rearranging stuff, you look to see what products are moving. You look to see what the new products are that Sam's Club is bringing in. This is this is insider information, right? This is intelligence that he's doing now. Now he's walking every aisle. And I said, when you walk every aisle, you say, man, they must be selling a lot of this stuff right here. They must be selling a lot of these gel G2 pens here. Let me check this out. Let me check out the stocks on this. You understand? So even if you work at Walmart or you work at Sam's Club and places like that, you can still do an intelligence where you can see what products are moving. And the products that you see that are moving a lot of, you go ahead and go to TD Ameritrade or Yahoo Trade, look up that stock and buy the stocks of that product. That's how you shake the coins out of the piggy bank.
You dig? So now the young man at Sam's Club, his mind is racing. He's like, wow, I never thought of that. I said, yeah, just look at anything here. This is a new product. So I pointed out a new product that Sam's Club has uh, has put on their shelf in their inventory. I said, you didn't see this product two months ago. This is a new product. So for Sam's Club to pick it up, that means that product must have a very strong sell through. If it has a very strong sell through and they're picking up in bulk, that means it's also selling in individual packets, right? It's selling loosely because in Sam's Club, you have to buy it in bulk, right? But if Sam's Club is picking it up, that means it's selling individually very well. So what I would do is if I worked at Sam's Club, Walmart, Target, any of those places, I say, you know what? They just restocked on this product right here. Let me see if they're online and they sell any stocks. You might be getting in on the ground floor. I'll tell you what I used to do on the, in the trucking business, right? Every winter time, we used to go to a company called uh, Whirlpool. Of course, you guys know what Whirlpool is, right? Every year we would go uh, to Whirlpool. And uh, spring, summer, it, move, it was lukewarm. You know, the sales wasn't popping. But around winter time, I don't know what they were doing. They were maybe pumping more money into advertising, marketing, um, you know, commercials, all that stuff. What I did was as soon as I started seeing that I was making more and more runs to Whirlpool, guess who went and bought some Whirlpool stock? I bought it when it was low. So by the time Black Friday came around, uh, Christmas came around, Thanksgiving came around, and everybody's buying these smart refrigerators, smart uh, uh, dishwashers and stuff like that, I made a profit. I made a profit from that. So a lot of you guys that are working for Target, Walmart, Sam's Club, Costco, even McDonald's. McDonald's, you can see, you get to see that, uh, who McDonald's is going into partnership with. So like even a movie, move, uh, they partner up with Disney a lot, right? They partner up with Pixar a lot. You find out that Pixar is about to release a movie. You, you're getting the merchandise before the public ever sees it. You're getting the merchandise. You're... They're putting you up on game about the promotion that's about to happen. Go out there, check out the stocks on, okay, Pixar's about to release the new record Ralph 2. Let me see if I could buy some stocks in that. Buy before the movie goes up. That's like getting in on the ground floor when Black Panther, before Black Panther even released a trailer, you already bought some stocks in the company that created Black Panther. And then once Black Panther smashes the box office you made a profit you sell off the stocks you made a little extra change all of that while you're working with these organizations you dig young bloods so i, I want to share that with you because i love you word the nipsey on this one man i wanted to make something that can touch home and and let you guys know that you do not you're not in a situation where you can't shine no matter where you touch on this God's green earth, you can shine, baby. So peace, love, and happiness to all you guys. Salute, 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 and prosperity. You heard?